this week, we'll be seeing DTR get the start. So I just kind of want to switch things up, just see how the offense is with DTR and see what we have with him back there. You know, Sam Hall is okay. He's an okay quarterback. He can't really run the ball very much. And he's just okay, you know, but I don't think he's our franchise guy. I really don't. So, um, I'm just, I got to get a real idea of, of what Thompson Robinson really is. Before I just, you know, decide to pursue a different player in the draft or, or you know, just uh, continue building on this player. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, guys, I, I just don't think that Sam Howell has that it factor about him. You know, I just feel like he's an average quarterback. Nothing special about him. So, I just really want to get an idea of what we have going in this week. And it's a night game, so you already know. We're going to be in that all black. Nine games where we wear all black. Nine home games. Let's get it, man. Who had a strong showing last week with an eight tackle game. It's the Bears and the Commanders on Thursday night primetime. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. But tonight we start week five with a primetime matchup as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Washington Commanders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about this commander's team coming into play here today. We're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should. And what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Bears, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Two of the bigger disappointments in the first quarter of the season doing battle here as we get this one underway. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So here come the Bears to take over on offense behind their third-year quarterback, former Ohio State Buckeye Charles, Justin Fields. We all knew Fields was an incredible athlete coming out of college. And last season, he unleashed it upon the NFL. Ran for over 1,100 yards and would have broken the quarterback single-season record if he had played the full season. He also threw 17 touchdown passes, and that's the next jump for him. More consistency as a passer. Here we go. go. Now motion left with Mooney. Right. And they'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. Boy, shifts past him. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, 
Teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end of rounds. They'll move it back in the backfield and make them running backs. There he goes, left side. He may go. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Bears go down the field in just two plays to take the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Santos with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. Taking it at about the one. So here are the commanders making their way out. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation. Turn this into an up and down game, almost like go. basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage. Our team's trying to run with them and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. The numbers in last week's ball game for Robinson. 20 carries, 132 yards. Second down, Thompson Robinson now. Well, obviously he didn't have a great deal of time between games, having to turn around on a short week and get ready for Thursday night football. But he said in pregame, he was feeling pretty good and felt more recovered from last week's contest than he would have expected. Didn't seem to think this short week was going to affect him much as he chases a big performance here in prime time. On third down, Robinson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That good for 19 and a first down. Playing things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Flushed out right. That one caught by the tight end Bates. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. Charles' Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? It's a, who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they come off a victory over the weekend, but now the quick turnaround here for this Thursday night game. How does that affect how teams like this approach these short turnarounds? Well, wins and losses always factor into you know, how you're getting ready for the next game. But equally as important when you have the short turnaround, what is your injury situation? Are you losing key guys? And if so, how well have the backups prepared for this? Because you don't have much time to get them ready. They have to be ready before this week in order to play well in this game. Third and five. Now Fields, eluding, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up four. Four down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Pulled in at the 24. Oh, nice move. <laughs> An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. A good 
Good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. A good start to the drive. Here's that's caught out on the left side. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, 26 yards. On the give, here's Robinson. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Dorian Thompson Robinson. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. An extra point by Sly is up and good. And we are tied at seven. Seven-seven, our score after one. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. As they've got it as we resume action. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Here we go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Herbert powering up the middle. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? No, a nifty juke there. That burst good for 20 and a first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far in this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. From the gun, here's Fields. Open man, he finds Connect. Touchdown, Chicago. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Bears have taken the lead. Now the point after try for Santos. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Five plays there on that drive. And it was all capped off by Cole Komet with a touchdown catch. This taken in right around the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Brian Robinson Jr. making his way back onto the field. Whatever he was doing in September. carries over now to October because he was sensational last month. He absolutely was, and we all know where it started at the end of last season, right? All the offseason preparation, the weight workouts, the sprints, right? The vision that he had what he was going to do this season, and of course it all came together with the rest of the team. Those big fellas up front, leverage, and boy, they get down to the Bucks. They really are. Everyone's been doing their job so far to create those holes. 10 yards there, good for a Washington first down. Thompson Robinson now. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Here's Rodriguez. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. 
Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Ready. From the 46, here's second and nine. Here's a give to Rodriguez on the option. Oh, good move. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. They give him 16 yards there, and it's a Washington first down. Partner, they're scrapping running plays, and then there are plays where they simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put, you got that mobile. Touchdown, Washington. Chris Rodriguez with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Commanders are an extra point away from evening this one up. And that moment we just saw, always so special for any rookie, the first touchdown of his career. And there's nothing like anticipation, is there? You know he's been dreaming about it, thinking about it. It's been a part of every bit of his being. And finally, it gets done. He's got to feel great right now. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. No run back here for Jones. A touchback. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. But right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Field's going to hurry his guys to the line. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play and make number one. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. A shotgun snap. Fields. That always just going to be short here. Barely. Maybe by a a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And they take a 17-14 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. This one across the 35. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, guys, thanks very much. We'll get back with you shortly. But first, let's take a look at what's coming up this weekend around the NFL. Some great games on the docket for this weekend. The first being at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London. The early start between the Bills and the Jags. Excellent games in the late afternoon window as well. One being out in Los Angeles, where it'll be the Rams taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. And then on Sunday night, the national audience in for a treat. They've got a good one lined up between the Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Both teams currently making their final adjustments. 
We're getting ready for the second half. So we'll send it back up to FedEx Field and hand things back over to Brandon Gott. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And he takes this one down, goes all the way to the 30. That one good for 26 and a first down. And that's a nice throw right there. I'll tell you what I've seen in recent times and actually watched a presentation in the offseason from a college offensive coordinator that showed about 10 different drills that he runs with his quarterbacks to show them how to get out of the pocket, how to get comfortable when they're doing so, and to make plays under that type of duress. That's an example of what we're seeing the colleges deliver to the NFL. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second down and nine. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys made the play and he couldn't even get going moving the football it's a gain of five but it'll lead to a fourth down going for it thompson robinson short throw to the tight end thomas and now this is going to be close the defense says they stopped him and they did washington goes for it but it does not pan out and the bears will get the football back and you wonder, Charles, could that decision come back to haunt them later? And it really could, because in this situation, you kick the field goal in a tight game like this, that's a good play. Yeah. But maybe what he's saying to himself is, I'm just not a big proponent of the old idea that any possession that ends in a kick, I'm happy with. He wanted to be really aggressive. A little twist here in the third quarter. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game, second and ten. Here's Fields. Looks for the out route, and it's complete to Komet. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that's always a good place to throw it, just because he's one of the biggest targets, not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want to catch the football first. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. This will be fielded at the 17. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise go. that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that part there. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be ever. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, 
They've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Third and one. Here's Thompson Robinson. And it is caught. And he's going to have the commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Play action. Now Thompson Robinson. That's out wide here for Robinson. Breaks through the contact. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now we're going to get a stoppage. It appears to be an injured bear on the field. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much, as he's down to the 48. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left in no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL. Back now at FedEx Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Here's Thompson Robinson looking to throw it. Flush to his right. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 21. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and 10. Throwing Thompson Robinson. Looking for the corn, and he's got him. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice game. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Thompson Robinson will look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Hand off now to Robinson. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. A bit of extra pressure now for this one on Joey Sly. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Sly able to put this one through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now Herbert to start the drive. A beautiful fake. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 42 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Herbert making a nice play there, coming off a 700-yard campaign, despite making just one start in 2022. Played a big part in the Bears becoming the fifth team in NFL history to rush for 3,000 yards in a season. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Herbert once more. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And that's going to be another good run on first down. This one goes for 14 as he is eating him up here to begin the drive. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. A handoff for Herbert. 
On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first down in field goal range already. This is first and ten. Here's a give to Herbert. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second down, a run with Herbert. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Third down, Herbert. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. This is Herbert. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead. So how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you've got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. And that's a touchdown as they broken our tie here in the final minute. Well, any thoughts about overtime have ended at this juncture. That touchdown puts them up six. I would imagine they'll kick the extra point now and rely on their defense. Yeah, rely on their defense. So a little bit of time left on the clock here in the fourth, but they got to feel good now. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now Washington, down by seven, 50 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Thompson Robinson. Looking for Dotson. He's got him. And on the other side of midfield at the 45. Here's Thompson Robinson. Flushed out right. Throw right side complete to Dodson. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Final minute. No timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and 10. He'll look to throw. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. A good gain of nine on first down. Back to throw. And his ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. Obviously, the excitement level here is almost a fever pitch. Down one is tempted to go for two. I say you go ahead and kick the extra point. You got the home crowd carried into overtime. I'm with you. I do see some fans, though, holding up two fingers. Easy now. Yeah, they're not the ones who have to actually make that call, are they? And he will not get into the end zone. 
The defense makes the stop of the game on the two-point try, and they might just get out of here with a win after all. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And he'll conserve whatever time he can as they'll opt to bring it out to the 25-yard line. Fields down to a knee here, and that should just about put a bow on this one. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did, and just keep...
It's week six of the NFL, and we've got Miles Jack, who had a strong showing last week with an eight-tackle game. It's the Falcons and the Commanders coming up next. the weather this time of year in the south perfect fall football weather and we've got the roof wide open here at mercedes-benz stadium in the heart of georgia today we've got a week six matchup for you here